Hi, I'm Michael Kwok. I'm the product line manager for Yokogawa. And I'm here at the OFC conference in Los Angeles, California, 2011. And what I'd like to do is show everybody a very basic optical alignment wavelength calibration procedure that we recommend people do when the OSA has been, for example, moved or, for example, if the unit has been shipped to you recently. So what this is doing is um, going to realign the spectrum analyzer <coughs> to make sure you have high accuracy readings and also reference the internal calibration wavelength to an internal light source. So this is an example of <coughs> what is inside this uh, calibration output source. So there's a LED going through an acetylene gas cell coming out on the output port of the spectrum analyzer. Okay? And the idea is that the acetylene gas is a very accurate reference absorption spectrum. And what we're going to use is one single cow point here at 1530.3714 nanometers. And what that's going to do is take the internal calibration table and align or shift that table against this one reference point. Okay? So it's going to first do the optical alignment and then do the wavelength calibration. So all our, of our spectrum analyzers come with this output port, no extra cost. And the idea is, again, when you first receive the instrument, you want to do this. You use a single mode fiber, FC, PC, flat polish output. Make sure you clean your tips, of course, especially on this port. This is our output port, which has a fiber internal connector. Our input port is actually a free space input, so there's actually nothing internal to scratch or damage, but we always still recommend that you clean the fiber. So after you've attached your fiber, um, <coughs> The screen will actually remind you to do this step. So I just powered up the unit, and it comes up with the screen to remind you of this. And the easiest way is to select optical alignment, and then execute. And it's going to go through a multi-step sequence to do the alignment, and then follow it by the wavelength calibration. OK. So the unit has completed its uh, process. And as you can see, it's completed that normally. That means that you can go ahead and disconnect your fibers and start using the instrument and know that it's going to give you the highest accuracy possible. In general, this is what you would expect to see. And now the instrument is ready to be used.